What's up everybody? We're talking all things short-term rental today and specifically if you've ever worried about a guest wrecking your place after staying there then this video is for you because I'm going to uh, attempt to give you some peace of mind and show you that that's really probably not something you need to worry about. Um, I'm going to give you a tour of my Airbnb after the guests have left but before the cleaners have gotten there so it's a dirty walkthrough. That's what we're doing today. Um, the reason why I want to do this is because when I was starting out, I had a fear that guests would wreck my place. Um, we've all read the horror stories on the internet of people coming in, throwing parties, smoking, stealing, breaking stuff, cops showing up, or, or flat out refusing to leave, and then you've got like squatters and eviction situation going on. Um, but I think those are pretty rare occurrences and certainly has not been my experience at all. Um, every checkout I've had in the past year, well, in the last year that I've been doing this has been completely smooth. Um, yes, some guests are going to leave the place in better condition than the others, but overall it's going to be fine. Um, yes, some things are going to get dirty and broken and disappear. Uh, that's just part of the short-term rental game, the hospitality aspect of what you're doing here. It's going to happen, but don't let it stress you out if that's something that you feel like is preventing you from moving forward. That's kind of why I wanted to make this video so I could just show you yeah, it's going to be dirty, but it's not going to be out of control. It's not going to be a horror show. The Before we get to the video, the three things that we ask our renters to do, our guests, when they leave is, number one, we ask them to load the dishwasher and start it. Um, number two is we ask you to strip all the sheets from the beds, the pillowcases, towels, you know, anything that you've used, any linens that you've used, just strip all that stuff and pile it up in... Um, somewhere in the house so that we know what's dirty and what's clean. And then the third thing is, or the third thing is um, to start a load of laundry on your way out the door. And we ask these things because those are the things that take the most amount of time is the dishwasher and the laundry. And I'm just trying to give my cleaners a jump start on the process to help us get the place cleaned and turned over and ready to go um, quickly. Honestly, if a guest didn't do any of these things, and maybe one or two have not done any of those, I wouldn't be upset. Um, I wouldn't try to go after them and find them or stick them with a fee or send them a nasty review or anything like that. I'd just move on with my day. It's not the end of the world. I've got cleaners coming in anyways. It's not a big deal to um, do those things. But again, it's just a courtesy that maybe they can help us out um, with getting the place cleaned a little bit quicker. But... That's enough for me. Let's get to the video. And again, this is just a walkthrough after uh, the guests have left. I think we had four or five adults and two children staying here. And it did rain a whole bunch uh, th that weekend that you're taking a look. So let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see anything else. Otherwise, let's get to the video. We are taking a tour of the place to see what kind of condition the guests really leave the place in. So let's uh, wander in here. And the first thing I noticed is a lot of mud being tracked on the walkway. We had a lot of rain going on, so I'm not surprised that there's mud, but that is a concerning amount of mud. So let's just go on in and see what we got here. Okay, so we are in the laundry room. Got some mud on the dryer floor. It eh, looks all right. And then the first thing I notice here is that somebody left behind an umbrella. So that's a freebie. Let's see. Continue onward, and we've got a big pile of laundry here. So we ask them just to pile up their used sheets and towels and put everything right there. First bedroom. Okay, looking pretty good, looking pretty normal. Everything's where it's supposed to be in the closet. Well, we got a drawer that looks like it's been used. Let's see if they left anything behind. They did not, but that's a pretty good room. Nothing to worry about in there. Let's check the master. Kind of the same deal. They stripped the sheets for us. Everything looking like it's in good order. TV still there. That's good. Yeah, nothing, nothing noteworthy in here either, so that's good. Let's go on into our living room. Trash can. Living room looking solid. Not much to do in here. That's a pretty muddy floor mat. This one's probably, yeah, this one's got some mud. I don't know how well y'all are able to see that, so that's kind of muddy. Dining room table, 
looking good for the most part. Looks like maybe just needs a wipe down or something. Um, TV and everything is here, so into the kitchen. We're going into our kitchen here. And we'll just kind of do that. Everything looks good there. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Oh. Well, we're supposed to have a rug right here, but there is no rug. And this rug, I'm not even sure where that one came from, so that's not supposed to be there. Hmm. Doesn't really look like they use the stove very much. Sink and everything looking good. Dishes looking good. Fridge, leave us any goodies. No, no, not really, huh? Salt, fruit cup, mayonnaise. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's going on down there. Oh, big giant bag of ice. I wonder why ours isn't making a lot of ice. Look into that. Let's journey on upwards. Coming on upstairs. Stairs themselves are looking good. I mean, like they normally do anyway, it's nothing special. <clears throat> Coming on into our bunk room here. All right, strip the sheets like we asked them to. Kind of move the beds around. Not around, but like away from the wall. This is more normally tucked up closer to the wall. That's fine. Been using the notepad. Maybe they had to take some notes or something like that. Pretty good though. Closets open. They put some, some of our toys in there for the kids. Let's just open that up. Yeah, no, that's fine. What about this bedroom? I'm sorry, bathroom. This bathroom is fine as well. <laughs> Pretty much our last indoor space is our loft area. Doesn't look like it got too much use. For the most part, everything is looking good up here. All right. Well, I'd say that's gonna be it. Maybe the downstairs bathroom is the only thing that we didn't look at, so let's go look at that. Overall, I'd say so far this is about how I expected the place to look. We had a really bad rainstorm one night, so that's where all the mud came from. Bathroom looking good. Make sure there's no disaster in the toilet, I guess. We could always look. Look at that. Normal. Just what you'd expect. So, all right. I'd say that kind of concludes the indoor portion of this tour. Let's see if they did anything outside. All right, let's go on into the garage. The garage, okay, so it kind of looks like they've uh, used the beach wagon and chairs. Probably had a beach day. Kayaks are still there. That's uh, water from the rain, kind of leaks. You can see the garage has a seal problem. Uh, chairs, paddle boards, all that stuff still there. Looking up here. Giant inflatable donut. I don't know what happened there. This now this is new. What's going on here? Ugh. That is fun and that is new. It's a pool for kids, so that's definitely not ours. I don't know where that came from. But let's check out the garage fridge, freezer. Nothing. I think this is just ice. I had to guess. Yeah, it's a bag of ice. Down here we've got ourselves. Uh, ginger beer, a couple of ginger beers, there's a Coors Light, a couple of bottles of water, and there's this. Okay, I thought that was a Band-Aid, but it's really just a piece of cardboard. I was like, why would somebody leave a Band-Aid in there? A couple drinks, Diet Coke, that's unusual, or new. Huh, that's it. So, let's wander our way around to the deck. The muddy footprints continue, so like, we need some more rain to wash all this stuff off. We got the grill. Grill's looking good. Not, probably were not used recently. There's this rock here. Don't know why that's there. That's newer. And they got some chairs. Played with some chairs there. <laughs> we got some deck boards we had replaced recently, so that's what all that's about. 
Now this has a lot of dirt and mud on it here, which is a shocking amount. So they must have been out here in the yard for a lot of it. Fire pit looks like it's been used. A lot of non-burnt wood in there, so I don't know what they were trying. Maybe they got rained out when they started to have a fire, so. Hmm. Not sure. Let's go look underneath. And underneath looks normal. Wood pile still there. Picnic table still there. So yeah, that's it. I think that's going to conclude the tour. As you can see, the place is relatively in pretty good shape. Um, there's some mud and some laundry to do, but that's to be expected. So not the worst case scenario. Probably a couple hours worth of work for the cleaning people. Um, overall, it does not freak me out. I feel pretty good about it.